Hey, beautiful people! It's only here we have the brand new rap and stuff and music and things. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so I'm posting uh, another video of me trying to do my uh, KBB homework. I've been putting this off for ages. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So, we're talking about. Uh, I'm in my bathroom, you might see him trying. It's kind of tired, he's got the right, right level for my laptop. Uh, with, uh, so, I've just done. Is it 2.3.2 or something? Uh, Dean, Mr. Dean, you were talking about um, the, you, you get the story teach tool model and the, the, the seven steps deeper, which is amazing. I, I've, uh, so I think I've, I've heard this thing before. I've heard it called the Y chain, which I think is uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to try going through it and explaining it to you guys using the story teach tool. So first story, um, so my, one of my flatmates, Miss Alicia, passed away a couple of days ago. Um, God bless her. She was uh, 72, so young, but you know, uh, she's, she was a, a wonderful, wonderful woman. Um, and uh, yeah, she, she and she had a lot of mental health stuff. So you know, I'm in the support accommodation uh, for my ADHD for getting clean of the drugs and stuff. Uh, and Miss Alicia, I think, would like you know sometimes get paranoid and stuff. Uh, you know, I think people kind of helped her a lot with looking looking after herself. She didn't really like go out or exercise that much. Um, she was. Really, really wonderful. I had a wonderful laugh, wonderful smile. She kind of got <laughs> like that. It was really nice. Um, she was really caring, really helpful. And yeah, and so when I, when I found, found out about her death, I, I didn't feel that mood, you know. I started praising God, thanking him, got down on my knees and that. And you know, I didn't have like a flood of tears. I didn't feel super, super sad. And I've been kind of trying to process how I should be feeling, how I should be acting. Um, because I feel, I kind of feel like I should be, it should be sad maybe. But just recently our friend, uh, Cecilia, she, she found out she was crying a lot and was upset. Um, so I thought using a story teach tool model, I can maybe use this seven steps deeper to look at to look at to look at that, to look at this this situation and how I'm feeling about it. So I want to ask why do I feel like I should be sad? But I feel like I think it's supposed to be like a goal, isn't it? What do I want to achieve? Um, so we well, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe this is veering off, but I'm gonna try using it for why I feel I should be sad or crying. So uh, why do I feel I should be sad or crying? Um, because I want to help and I don't know and 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 like being emotional I, I feel like can be helpful so I guess number two is why do I feel like emotions uh, can be helpful um, and I think oh god this is a great tool thank you uh, I think because, because because I like to empathize with people and I, I feel like that's a big part of my calling is kind of, you know, uh, kind of feeling and manifesting that sense of oneness between, between you know, everyone in the universe. Um, so, okay, and I guess question three, God, relating this to like, Putting this into a course is going to be interesting. So number three, what, uh, why do I want to spread this feeling of oneness with, with people? Um, I think because I want to feel valued and wanted and safe. So, okay, so what about so far? Why do I, do I feel like I should feel sad? Because I want to help. Why do I think emotions help? Because I want to kind of spread of oneness and empathy. Why do I want to do that? Um, because I want to feel wanted. So why do I want to feel wanted uh, and safe? Because... Because... 
because sometimes I struggle to feel a sense of purpose or meaning on my own without relying on someone else. And I want to find more purpose and meaning. Okay, I'm trying to keep this short so it doesn't go too long. So, why do I want to feel... Why do I feel like I should feel sad? Because I want to help. Why do I think emotions help? Because I want to be empathetic. Why do I want to be empathetic? Because I want to feel wanted. Why do I want to feel wanted? Because I feel like I'm lacking purpose. Because I want purpose. So, number six. Why do I... Well, let's try and word that more positively. Why do I want to find a sense of purpose in myself. I don't know if I'm doing this right. It seems to be getting there. Why do I want to find more purpose? And why am I looking for more purpose? Um, I think because I am afraid and impatient. I'm afraid of not doing enough. I'm afraid of uh, wasting this gift that God's given me. I'm afraid of being a disappointment. Um, okay, so why do I think I should feel sad? Because I want to uh, help and empathize. Help. Why do I, I think emotions help? Because I want to empathize. Why do I want to empathize? Because I want to feel wanted. Why do I want to feel wanted? Because I want purpose. Why do I want purpose? Because I'm afraid. So why am I afraid? This is a great tool, by the way. Thank you. I'm going to use this more. Why do? Why am I afraid? Because there is so much that I don't understand that I want to understand. Yeah. I think, I feel like I've veered off. I feel like I'm not quite done this quite right. But yeah, so we've got to, I want to understand, you know. Um, you know, I want to, I feel like I should feel sad because I want to help. Because I want to feel oneness and empathy. Because I want to feel wanted. Because I, uh, why do I want to feel wanted? Uh, because I want purpose. I want to be able to feel purpose in myself. Why do I want purpose? Because I'm afraid. Why am I afraid? Because I don't understand as much as I want to. So, I guess that's something for me to think about in terms of how I can use understanding in a way to, to add value to the world, to help people with to be okay with not understanding and to be okay with what they do understand and to maybe let go of understanding. Which is great. I love New Age spirituality, you know, God is good, God is amazing. So I love that. Um, I like that. I like that. That's something I can, maybe I can be doing like a drum beat and then like talking about spirituality and I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys. This has been amazing. Uh, you guys are inspirations. Please, any thoughts or ideas you have, please, please, please give me as much feedback as you can. Uh, yeah, you guys are wonderful. I love you. God loves us all. And he has an amazing plan for our lives. Matthew 9.26 says, Through God, all things are possible. And I know that I know that I know that that is true. Thank you, guys. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.